Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day's going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're here from the unboxing. If you missed it, I'll leave it at the end of the video. You can head on over there because that is where we created these. We're using the Spellbinders Card Kit of the Month for November 2022. It's called Time Offline. And I have to say, this kind of uh, theme is, is difficult for me. Um, so I hope you like my projects. For the most part, I kept them kind of simple, but, and we do have a few masculine cards in here. The outdoorsy um, kind of theme um, is challenging for me, which I don't mind because challenges are good. Makes you a better crafter, I think. <laughs> so we're gonna just jump in and create 10 cards. So we're gonna start off by using this pattern paper. I trimmed it down. Um, this is the one with the thermos on here and the water bottle. I trimmed it down. Usually I write down my measurements, but I didn't this time, so bear with me. This is three and a half inches wide by four and three quarter inches tall. I'm going to take this piece of pattern paper and we're going to directly adhere it to our card base. Today, maybe I should, I'm going to use glue today. Okay, I created one extra mushroom during the unboxing. I just made two, but I made one more. And then what I had did was die cut out three of these little frames and I layered them all together. So I stacked them. So it's really thick, kind of like a chipboard frame. I'm not going to use this one. Um, and then we're going to take our frame and add it towards the upper more part of our card panel, making sure it's centered. And then our sentiments are going to go under here. These are the foam sentiments. I have stay on the happy trail. Let's go ahead and add these right now. Okay, now with the inside piece, this is gonna fit in here like so, but I want a little bit of texture to this. So I'm taking this and my plaid company embossing folder, and I'm gonna run this through my die cut machine and emboss this um, dome shape. Okay, we're gonna add some foam adhesive behind our mushrooms and also behind our leaves. And then I'm gonna bring in some twine. This is Spellbinder's hemp cord. And I'm gonna just tie a bow. I love that this is not white white, it's kind of an off-white. Hemp cord is so nice because you see how it holds its shape. Just love that. And I'm going to go ahead and trim the bottom. And I'm going to use a glue dot. Okay, I'm just going to add this to the mushroom side corner. We'll add our twine. And that will finish off that card. Okay, for card number two, I trimmed down my my heel with the pine trees pattern paper, and this measures four inches. Um, ah, this measures three and three quarter inches by five inches. Let's adhere this to our card base. Okay, and then I have some of this stripe paper. I'm gonna actually trim it down to. A one inch strip is really all that we need on my stripe. And then we're going to tack down our white cardstock like so. And then with this piece, this is uh, two and a quarter inches wide also. I wanted to create a heel side with this. Kind of like it lopsided a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of glue. And we're going to tack this down on the bottom. To me, this just kind of grounds it. And if you want to use green ink, you could. But I'm going to take these and put these on an acrylic block. And I'm going to stamp some trees in our background. 
I'm going to use my black ink. While we're stamping, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. I'm, I'm stamping the sentiment that says, here's to another year of adventures. I think that's cute. We're going to stamp this right at the very top. And let's take some stars while we're at it. Let's add some stars. And then we'll take our, our Jeep panel and just put it right in the middle. Well, you could really see my ring going, going crazy here with the light. The sun's going down, so I'm going to kind of speed it up here. And that will finish off. Actually, you know what, let's, of course, I'm going to use my glazing glue, and we're going to go over it with a tire, make it a little bit of shine, and that will finish card number two. For my next card, we're keeping it really simple. I did bring in some timber cardstock, so this measures five and a half inches tall by three and a half inches wide, and then I have a piece of that same striped paper that we use for um, our last card and this is three inches wide okay by the same height five and a half inches I'm gonna take this I'm gonna add some glue behind here and we're gonna tack this down on our timber cardstock now I'm just I'm offsetting it just because I like the look of that so a little bit of the brown is peeking out over here and then we have um, a little over a quarter inch peeking out on the other side. And I'm going to go ahead and take this and add this to my card base. And I'm going to bring it over more towards the left, so about a quarter of an inch is showing. Now I have the daisies that we created during the unboxing. And then I also have one of the wood pieces from our die cut pack. I'm going to go ahead and add some glue behind here. We're going to tack this down. There is kind of a flat edge and I'm going to turn it a little bit so it's about an inch up from the bottom. And then I'm going to take some glue. I'm going to go ahead and add this and I'm definitely going to use the lines on my pattern paper as a guide. So I tied a bow and then I'm going to go ahead and take another glue dot and that will finish off card number two. I'm going to close my blind so these little, I think these are coming from my ring. I don't want to, it's a psychedelic video. I'm going to go <laughs> prevent that from happening so I'll be right back. For card number three, I'm going to take some more white cardstock here and I'm going to trim this down to a three and a half inch panel by four and three quarter inch. And I won't do this because I want to add some pattern paper and pop this up. Now I have a strip of the gray and white stripe paper. This is going to go on the very bottom. Some flannel paper. This measures so that it is three and a half inches wide by three and three quarter inches tall. And I'm going to add this to the upper portion. I love plaits. We're going to make a masculine card. After we have this done, I'm going to go ahead and take some of my black hemp cord or my black twine and I'm going to wrap it around. And then I have some foam strips from our foam stickers. This says life is an adventure and search for the simple. And then we have some die cuts. I have the mountain and then the, the stag or the deer. I'm going to flip over my panel and put some pop-up foam behind here. I'm going to add this to my card base right in the middle. This kind of looks like my husband's pajamas. <laughs> Um, that might be a little too much information, huh? <laughs> but I l actually like it. <laughs> if they made a flannel like that, I think I would probably wear it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and add my mountain. I'm going to go ahead and directly adhere my mountain, just using my glue. 
we're going to place this over here. Okay, I'm going to have to open up another pack. Did you know, just to let you guys know, did you know that Spellbinders has a thinner even, a thinner foam square? So they have a two, what is it? A one millimeter and then they have a two millimeter. I had bought a black and white pack. If I can find it before I end the video, I'll show you guys. So they have different widths. This to me is like the perfect width, but if you guys don't like that much dimension, um, you can use the one millimeter. Fabulous stuff. Okay, I'm gonna add one more. And I always like to add one of them overlapping on the edge, just because the bow's overlapping here and I think it gives me good balance. And I am going to go ahead and add the shorter one right above it. Okay, and I'm not going to add any bells or whistles. I think this um, is a great masculine card. If you wanted to, you could, but I think this is great the way it is. So that will finish off card number four. Okay, card number five. I trimmed down some of my gold mirror cardstock. Measures three and a quarter inches wide by four and a half inches tall. We're going to place this at an angle, and I'm going to use glue on the card base. And then I have the little location pattern paper. This is going to go straight on our card base. So we're basically just going to center this. Okay, after we have this, I have some foam stickers. These are the arrows. We're going to add, do we want to put them on this? No, we'll put them on this side. And I'm just going to line them up on the edge. And then I did trim down some of that map looking um, pattern paper. We're going to adhere one of our chipboard sentiments to it. And I just made it so there's a little bit of a border around it. Like so. I'm going to flip this around. We're going to add some foam squares behind here. And I went ahead and tied a bow using my black twine. I'm going to use a glue dot here. These are Fun Samper's Journey glue dots. I just bought a new pack of these. I don't know how long they'll have these, but I love them. Um, I like the size of them, and I like that you can pull them out individually. I want to grab one of those. Do we want to add some sequins? I'm going to add a few sequins to this card. Do we want to add a little one more over here? No. Five is perfect. I think five is the perfect amount. And that will finish off that card. Okay, sometimes when I trim them on paper, I see them in my, my little scrap pile and I like the way they look together. So that's what we're gonna do with this card. So I have some of my timber card stock. We're gonna take this and adhere this to the very bottom of our card base. Pattern paper like so, and then I'm going to add my stripe paper right on top. Using my glue, I'm going to add this. Once I have them all attached, I'm going to add this to my card base. We'll go up a little higher. Okay, and now we're going to stamp our sentiment directly on our card base. So I have, hey there, happy camper. I'm going to stamp with my black ink. Stamp it right below. And then I have some die cut pieces and also I have a few of my chipboard banners. I'm going to I have the little flag here and just for a little extra interest, <laughs> I'm going to fold it like so. And then I'm going to take some small foam squares and we're going to add a couple to the end. Then we can place this, giving a little bit of dimension. The foam squares will help it from from flattening during the mail. I'm going to add my 
die cut compass. And then we're going to add our banners up here in this area. I have the orange one, so we'll just glue it down. Using my glazing glue, I'm going to go over my compass. It's going on cloudy, but it'll dry clear. Go over the lens of my flashlight. And then I'm going to go over the lens of my camera. And that will finish off that card. For my next card, I have some stripe paper. You don't need this tall of a piece of paper. You would basically only need maybe a half, two half inch strips. I'm going this way. Two half inch by um, three and a quarter inches. But I have some of those boat pattern papers and this measures three and a quarter inches wide by four and a quarter inches tall. We're going to take this and glue this on top of our stripe. This is what I mean when I said you don't need, um, this is what I meant when I said you don't need a full sheet. We're only going to see about a quarter inch on the top and the bottom. So you don't need that big old piece of stripe paper. But I don't mind it because it gives it a little bit of weight. Um, we're going to add this to our card base. Okay, and then I have uh, some of our die cut sentiments and then I have some um, of the white cardstock that I just trimmed into a square sentiments directly off the adhesive sheet and I'm gonna take them and place them directly on my white square here and then I'm going to add some glue and we'll place this on our panel right in the middle And then I have some more of the puffy stickers. I have three of them. I'm going to take the one with the trees, then one with the kayaker. I've never been kayaking. I guess I, I'm a freaked out that I'm, I'll flip over and I'll be stuck in it. <laughs> I'm not very adventurous. Um, I think my craft room is adventurous enough. You should see the disaster I create. <laughs> And we were going to add our middle one here. Maybe we'll put them a little closer together. Okay. And that finishes that card. For my next card, we can't go through the card kit without making a floral card. So I have the flowers, and then I also have the leaves. These are fall leaves, but I'm going to use them as flower leaves. I think it'll work the same way. I did trim down a piece of the wood grain pattern paper. And this measures three inches wide with the wood grain going vertical. And then I have this at four inches tall. I'm going to take some, actually let's go ahead and adhere this directly to our card base. Make sure it opens the right way. This is going to go all the way to the bottom of our card base, centering it. We're going to treat this like it's a vase. After we have this adhered, I'm going to go ahead and take our florals. Just using some foam squares, we're going to add a little dimension and fill our vase up with some flowers. For this card, you can see I have my puppy stickers and there is a sentiment in here that says smile. And I'm going to take this and put this on the very bottom. I think I got it almost evenly spaced. Okay, I think I got it evenly spaced. Okay. And that will finish off that card. For my next card, I have some of our camper prints. Our camper and trailer print. This measures three inches wide by four and a quarter inches tall. Let's take, let's tack this down. I'm going to soften it with a slightly smaller piece of vellum. I'm going to place it, it's about a quarter inch smaller all around. And then while it's centered, what I'm going to do is take our die cut trailer, 
and we're going to add some foam behind it. And I'm going to tack this down. Like so. And then I'm going to lift it up. I can adjust it if I need to. And then I have a place to put foam behind here. That way um, you can't see it. I removed the release paper and I'm going to place this back where I had it. But this time it's going to have a little dimension to it. And that background is going to be softened up a little bit. Okay, we are going to go ahead and take our glazing glue and go over the window. Maybe the tire too. And then for this card, I'm going to add some sequins too. Let's, I think that looks wonderful. And that will finish off card number nine. For my final card, we are going to go ahead and just keep it simple and clean. I have some of that plaid paper. This is leftover. And this measures, that uh, is two and a half inches wide. Let's adhere this to our card base. I'm going to go about three quarters of it away from the bottom. And then any leftover, I'll just trim off with my scissors. And then I have a strip of that same timber cardstock. We're going to hear, adhere this on the bottom as well. I'm going to call this a mountaineer card. <laughs> okay, we have both of our die cut pine trees. And then this is a hillside that I created with craft cardstock. Now I used my die to create it and then I just trimmed away the bottom. You can see here, this makes great hillside too. I'm going to pop this up with some foam squares. Before we do it though, I do want to stamp my sentiment. So let's take an acrylic block and we'll stamp our sentiment right on the bottom here. Take time to enjoy your birthday. We'll stamp it down here. Let's use glue and I'm going to add this. We're going to tack it down on our timber card stock. And then we'll take our trees, kind of overlapping them right on top of our little hill. And I'm keeping this really simple and clean and that will finish off that card. Let's take a look at all 10 cards that we made with the Spellbinders card kit of the month for November. The kit is called Time Offline and there is card number one. I'm going to kind of go out of order because some of these have the glossy accents on them and they're still drying. So I'm going to keep them all separate. We got a lot of masculine cards in the month and the kit this month, which is nice. We got some adventure and some feminine with those daisies. I hope you enjoy my projects. I hope this gives you some ideas on how to create with the kit. Thank you so much for joining me. Have, the sun's going down. I'm sorry the, the filming is dark. <laughs> but um, we'll see you again real soon. Um, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.